Let's take a look at how to get a list item arranged onto a custom path like this. In this case, this is an arc and uh, looks like a hand of cards. And I'll show you how to set that up. So in another file over here, I've got the setup started of a main artboard with the main view model attached and a card artboard with a card view model attached. In the main view model, I have a number called num cards, which is set to 10. That'll show, uh, that'll determine how many cards we have. And in the card view model, I'm using this new property called list index. And I believe you can only add one of those to your uh, view model. Um, but that, yeah, here it is. So um, list attributes uh, index. So that is gonna help us figure out where the position of each card is. Um, what I'm gonna do to make this work is I'm gonna take this card, which is in a group, and I have the origin set to the bottom here, and I'm gonna uh, follow path constrain this to this path down here. So I'll go to constrain on the group, I'm gonna add the follow path, and I'm gonna target that path. And what I wanna do here is actually data bind the distance property, because that's gonna determine where on the path this shows up. But I need to do a converter to make that work, and it's gonna use a little bit of math. So I'm gonna create a new converter under numeric. I'll go to formula. And the formula is going to um, divide 100 because that's the uh, full range of you know, 0 to 100% along the pathway. Uh, divide it by the number of cards that we have and then multiply it by the index. So to do that, I'm gonna type into the formula box here, 100 divided by, and I'm gonna put in 10 um, because I know that's what it is, but I'm going to data bind that. And then I'm gonna uh, multiply it by, in this case, zero. When you hit enter, you get these um, properties here. Um, but what I wanna do is instead of having these be um, fixed values, I want these to be data bound. So for this one, I'm gonna bind it to number of cards. This one is gonna be bound to index. So now it's going to divide this by the number of cards that there are, and then each instance of the list item is gonna have its own index value. So the first one will be at 0% because it's gonna multiply it by zero. The next one is gonna have a value of one, and that will be, in this case, 10. So it'll put it 10% along the path. And the next one, because it's 10 uh, into 100, uh, it'll be 20% along the path. But we can also update the number of cards along the way, and it'll space them out evenly using this formula. Um, and so next, what I want to do is come back to my follow path constraint and data bind it. And you'll see once I go to data bind it, I get the normalize property here. And that's something that I actually want to add to my formula. And first I'm gonna, I'll just put them into a group together. So I'll use my formula and the normalize and I'll have this in the converter group. So now if I come back and come back to data bind, I'll update the bind and I can use the number of cards as the number here, but I'm gonna use the converter group to convert it. And so it's not gonna look like anything yet, um, but we'll see what happens when we get that over into our main artboard. Our uh, card artboard is set up now. And so over in main, what I wanna do is uh, I'm gonna come and get, add a child layout and I'll remove the background from that one. And inside the layout, I wanna add the artboard list. And on the artboard list, can I open this? All right, there it is. Artboard list, um, here is where you can choose a property. I'm gonna choose the num cards from the main view model property. And you can see that turns yellow and that's because we need to use a new converter type for lists, which is number to list, since I'm binding a number. And on the number to list, um, it asks you to choose a view model to bind. We're gonna bind the card. And then in my artboard list, when I come back into this, I can update the bind and choose the number to list converter here, and that turns green. And so now, if I play the state machine, you'll see that it does create 10 instances, 
and um, as we uh, as they progress each one has a, a card farther along the path and so what I'm gonna do though is um, basically stack these on top of each other to do that I'm gonna go back to my card artboard which is set as the same dimensions as the parent artboard but um, I'm gonna set the dimensions to zero and zero and here then when I play this you'll see that it stacks them all on top of each other and um, arranges them in the path. And what I can do while this is playing is adjust the number of cards and you'll see that it's going to fill them in and space them out evenly. And uh, the other thing I can do, I can you know, come back over to the card artboard and uh, let's say just hide the path. So still there but we won't see it and then it will follow that path i could also come back over to the path and change the shape of it so let's see if i just alter this curve say like that and and then come back to my main upper it's going to follow that arc so you can arrange them to the path just like that